Hi guys, hugging around. How's it been doing hey guys. How about this guy's a real theater? A real stage. This is like a real deal, man. I know. All weekend long we've been running around like ants. This is like using all the space. Um, allow me to make this official. Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the surrounding counties, please. Won't you welcome Jensen Ackles and Jared Pettel. I'm pretty sure I snapped my hamstring on that one. I know I did. I didn't know. Oh. I was doing the uh, Michael Phelps one, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, if I was on the blocks next to him and pop, pop, what the? No. <laughs> I'm not racing that guy. <laughs> They're like, eh, they don't go yeah. me. Uh. I love you, whoever you are. Yes, you. Uh -huh. It is great to be back. Um, how about Jeffrey Morgan there, huh? Or Papa Winchester. Finally get down to Atlanta and kill some zombies. Winchester style. Sean Rod's down. Um, and whoa, I love you. whoa. Take it easy. I, I sense like a Brexit happening. It's like, I love you, Jensen. No, I love you, Jared. Scratch, scratch, claw, bite. Um, we both love all of y'all. So. Just to be Legitimately. Um, who who's a first timer today? So far, so good? We like to say it's a wonderful, dysfunctional, and wonderfully dysfunctional family. So, uh, we're happy to be a part of it and happy that y'all are too. Uh, How about these guys, huh? Good stuff. Hey, Jared, why don't you tell us about your uh, bocce skills last night? <laughs> How much money did you lose? <laughs> in pain to get the bocce court or in losing to you guys? <laughs> we really wanted to play bocce last night. We ended up at a Brits pub. Anybody in the Brits pub? <laughs> and uh, one of my dear friends, uh, one of my groomsmen actually lives here in town. Um, and uh, we got together last night and we walked over and we went upstairs and I was like, there's a giant outside bocce court? Uh, but they were packed up, and we tried to name drop ourselves, name drop our friends. It was like, I know Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, um, we, uh, they were like, get out. They're like, we, we ended up having to bribe two guys. <laughs> yeah, so we're standing there. On the, <laughs> we're standing there on the uh, on the pitch, and um, we're talking to the person that's in charge of this. Is it a pitch? I don't know. How do you mean lingo? Because. You, yeah. you, you were like bocce sharking me last night. I did. I totally hustled him last night. Uh, so, so they're like, oh, there's a, there's a, a, a waiting list uh, of people to get on to the, to the field and stuff. And we're like, oh, all right. Well, we don't want to bump anybody off the list. Um, I did. And then, <laughs> but then there were, these, there were these two guys over on one of the courts there. And they were just sitting there. They weren't even playing. And I'm like, I'm like, well, these guys are in play. I'm like, hey, Jared, why don't you go over there and um, maybe see if you can't bribe those guys off and let us take their spot. That way we're not but, actually bumping somebody. By Jared, we should go do this. And I'm like, hey, Jared, go walk over there and try and hand some cash. And I was like, them? Okay. Uh. 
So, in, all, in all fairness, I worked till 3 a.m. So I got an Uber time, so I was a little tired yesterday. So Jared walks over, he's walking over the thing, we're, we're still back there, and he's talking to the guys, he's doing this, and then I see him go. <laughs> and then the two guys gleefully skip away. <laughs> and Jared just goes. <laughs> and so, but here's where it took a turn. So, so we, we get on the, we, we start playing. By the way, I think the first thought that occurred to me was like, yay, we get to play bocce. <laughs> Instantly, the second thought occurred to me was like, I offered them too much because they didn't even negotiate. <laughs> they were like, you're going to give you us want, a, you're yeah. a hundred bucks? Have fun. To play bocce? All right. And then one of the guys was like, well, how much was it? 150. And the other guy was like, no, 100 is fine. Like, don't, don't <laughs> scare them away. I want a hundred bucks. <laughs> so... So they, so they take off, and then, uh, and then we start playing, and about 15 minutes goes by, and the lady who's kind of in charge of the, she walks up and she's like, okay guys, your hour's up. Like, <laughs> what? Like, yeah, those guys only had it, and it changes every hour. I'm like, so he just paid for 15 minutes? <laughs> Luckily, the next group on the list uh, were no-shows, so we ended up getting to stay on and, and play for, uh, for a little while. And, uh, and, Turns out uh, Jeffrey Dean and uh, Jensen are little botchy Olympians. Yeah. <laughs> it was the Oldens versus the Youngins last night, and the Oldens prevailed. <laughs> they did, yeah. Rematch tonight. Uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to some questions. Let's start with my side. Uh, I was just wondering if I could get a J square. J square is the hub, and then also, you know, on the show, you had a supernatural convention through the books, and I'm just wondering now that you guys are actually having supernatural conventions out through the TV show, how you guys feel about that now that it's evolved to this. Well, the, the conventions actually came before the TV show. I mean, not. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that one out. It's supernatural. Um, Is this one of your riddles? Shush! Go, I love you. Go practice bocce or something. Don't, don't make him feel better. This is, <laughs> let him falter and flounder. Uh, no, I mean, we did the convention episode season four, so we'd already done, we'd already started to learn kind of what conventions were all about. Um, but, that, I mean, this... We, for those who haven't joined us before today, we often say that Supernatural, you know, obviously these conventions wouldn't exist without Supernatural, but Supernatural wouldn't exist without these conventions. So it's a chance for us to kind of meet people face to face and see who made this show last for 12 seasons. So thank you guys. Thanks, Diane. There was a movie made about your life. Who would you cast to play yourself? The guy who was climbing the Trump Tower. <laughs> Meryl Streep. <laughs> she could do it. She could do anything. I joked, my agent texted me after I tweeted the picture of Bizarro drop hat. Um, and he was like, that's not you, right? And I was like, no, it's not I'm in Vancouver. And I was like, the good news is, if they ever make a documentary about the guy who climbed the Trump Tower, I know I got a job. So. <laughs> and then I saw it on CNN. I was so happy. I was like, hee hee hee. I slammed over my trailer door and I was like, everybody, come here. Jensen's in his trailer next door. He's like, what? 